Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another awesome math video. This one is going to be on uh, left hand rule. So, left hand rule number one. So, left hand rule number one, focus, focus camera. Left hand rule number one is uh, a doozy, I should say. Now, they're not, it's not really a doozy, but left hand rules can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're uh, just starting it with physics. So left hand rule number one is basically for a current carrying conductor. Something uh, uh, we should call a wire. A current carrying conductor. So it's basically a wire. Physics people just want to sound start. And that's probably supposed to be another letter, but anyway. Um, so if we have a current carrying conductor, so there's my wire and I use an X, and a lot of people do, to say that that current is going into the page. So think about the current that's going directly into the page. So it's going in here. So I like to think of it as the arrow is has the feathers. And if you're looking, if it's being shot away from you, all you can see is the feathers. So left hand rule number one states that on my left hand, my thumb, so this is my thumb, wiggle thumb, goes in the direction of the current. So it's going to go in the direction of the current. So it goes straight down into the page. And I'm pointing my thumb, take my word for it, into the page. And I'm curling my fingers around. So if I curl my fingers around this wire, as you can kind of see, I'm creating a counterclockwise motion around it. So that is what happens to the magnetic field. So there's a concentric circles around this guy in the directions that my fingers are curling. So they're curling this way as my thumb goes into the page. Now, in the opposite scenario where the current is coming straight at you, so instead of the crosshairs, you have the point of the arrow. Picture it as it's being shot at you right between your two eyes, and all you can see is that point. So that current is coming straight out of the page, so my thumb goes in that direction, and then it's going to curl around this way. So this is actually going clockwise. So it's like that. So it's going around like this. So magnetic field always occurs in a current carrying conductor in concentric circles. So another scenario could be that, I mean, this is just a, you have a wire that's like this and the current is going this way. So this one's a little harder to, for me to draw, but my thumb is going to be pointed in that direction, and you can kind of picture it as curling around like this. So it's sort of spinning around the wire like this. So it's close to you, away from you. Close to you, away from you. So it goes like this. So it's going, and it's going around the back like that. So it's going up the front like this, and down the back. So you have to be kind of careful because that direction is kind of changing um, as it goes around. So it's going up around like this. So you got to kind of be careful. Now, the other scenario would be, let me just, oh, you can see my table. Um, would be if you have this. So the wires in that current's going in that direction. So there's my eye. So obviously I just turn my hand this way. So it's going around the back like that and then up the front. So around the back. So it's kind of, it's still really hard for me to draw that. So I'll try to draw it like this again. It's just really just going in the opposite direction. So it's going down here like this. So it's going in and then down the front. So it'll look like that. So that's left hand rule number one. And it's for a current carrying conductor. And it's useful for determining the direction of magnetic field in a wire. I hope this helps you solve some physics questions, uh, even though my hand probably did a crappy job of showing you. Alright, thank you guys very much. Thanks for watching.